teşekkür ederiz ilk olarak. Beşiktaş resmi YouTube hesabının özel konuğu Kevin Prince Boateng. İlk duygular e, burada daha yeni geldi İstanbul'a ama ilk duygularını. Thanks for coming. Thanks for accepting our request. Um, I have to be honest, like I'm really surprised because uh, I see a big club. Like you know, Beşiktaş is a big club, but if you if you're not inside, you don't know what's going on. Like I'm really surprised and I'm really happy because I see a lot of professionalism and um, even all the structure, everything is like like a really big top club. It shows me that uh, there's a lot of pressure and a lot of things to do. Şimdi e, çok fazla Türk arkadaşı var. Biliyoruz. E, videolarını da gördük. Buraya transfer süreci Beşiktaş ismi karşısına geldiğinde ne cezbetti? Danıştığı insanlar var mı? Neler anlatır? If I have to be honest, I have uh, I spoke to Beşiktaş since two years now already. And I always wanted to come to play in Turkey and I always wanted to come and play uh, at Beşiktaş because I grew up with all my Turkish friends in Berlin and they're all Beşiktaş supporters. And as soon as the news came out, everybody texted me and called me and they said, finally, finally you, you went home, you know, because for them it's like I, I had to come here. And um, there was not a lot of thinking because when I heard Beşiktaş, I told my agent, please make the deal. I want to go and play in this great club. Burada iki antrenmana çıkma fırsatı buldu henüz. E, dün de tesisleri de gezme fırsatı oldu tabii ki. Hem tesisler, hem kulübün yapısı, hem takım arkadaşları, Vida'nın paylaşımını gördük. E, sıcak bir karşılama olmuş. Takım aklına neler söyler? I think, I think um, how I said, everything is really positive. The, the facilities are amazing. I've seen a lot of clubs. I've been around the world, how you know, <laughs> I changed a lot of teams. Uh, I, I have to be honest, this is one of the best I've seen with big clubs like Barcelona or Milan. And um, I think the team is a, is a great team. They had like maybe five, six months a bit difficult. We can see there is a, a lot of pressure. Some people get nervous, but I think it's, it's even normal because as a big club as Besiktas, if you're not in top three, people get nervous and that's that's a good thing because everybody expect uh, a lot of things you know but um, i think what i just what i saw now in these two three days that everybody is really positive we're working hard the coach wants us to go to a next level and um, all hard work will always pay off so we just have to work hard and uh, on the weekends it will always pay off Şimdi çok büyük atmosferlerde oynadı Prins Barcelona dedi Milan dedi e, bu atmosferlerde şunu da sorayım. Müzeyi gezdi bugün dün. E, stadı gezme fırsatı buldu. E, hiç videoları gördü mü? Beşiktaş taraftarının o coşkusunu hissedebildi mi? Onun hakkında neler söyler? Everybody knows that they're like crazy in a positive way. Like I think the whole world knows. And um, how I said I have a lot of friends that Beşiktaş supporters. They always told me they're the best fans in the world. So I just how they expect me to be great on the field. I expect them to be great in every home game, you know. So I can't wait to to to walk in the stadium on Saturday and just feel the atmosphere because I think this atmosphere can always give more energy to the team and brings out more energy and more success to a team, you know. So we need everybody behind us to to come out maybe to be stronger and to win games. Sergen Hoca ile konuşma şansı oldu mu? Ne gibi beklentiler var hocanın ondan? Yeah, we spoke. We had a spoke uh, two days ago. Um, no, he doesn't. He he just asked me if I'm ready to play, and um, the rest will come within the weeks. You know, because we have to get to know each other. He just he just told me just be the best you can because he said I know how you how you can play football. I know what you can do. Just do that, and then you can help the team, and we're all going to be successful. Sakatlı çok konuşuldu e, geldiğinde. E, neler söyler onunla alakalı? The journalists are there to make rumors and talk. I just speak on the pitch. Biz kendini ilk, kendisini ilk itmanda da gördük yani baya oynuyor. No no I don't I don't know where it comes from because I'm I'm fit. I didn't play the last two games in uh, in Florence for for other reasons. But uh, how I said I'm ready. I want to play and I will show everybody on the pitch what I can do and that I'm 100% fit. Şimdi Prince İstanbul'a geldi ve sosyal hayatına neler yapar? E, futbol harici Kevin Prince bu atın kimdir? I love music. I love to listen to music. I love to make music. Um, yeah, that's like that's my my biggest hobby. I love music. Like everything is with music. When I wake up, when I go to sleep, 
that's the the main thing. If I don't play football, I no, I'm with my family. I'm a, I'm a family guy with my wife, my son. You know, um, like everybody. You know, we just enjoy the people we love and uh, the things we love. And I love music. Şimdi Prince Boateng dün daha doğrusu ilk antrenmana geldiğinde pazar günü e, biz İngilizce bir karşılama yaptı. Kendisi ben Türkçe anlıyorum, sıkıntı yok dedi. E, onunla alakalı neler söyler Türkçe anlamasıyla alakalı? No, I, when I was younger, I used to speak really good Turkish, to be honest, and I still can understand some stuff uh, because I grew up in Berlin, you know, uh, and I, I want to learn it. Like I want to learn to talk again. So I think in two months we can have this this, uh, this interview. Next time we do it in Turkish. Çok iyi olur. Çok da memnun olurum. Müzik sevgisini anlattı. Müzik sevgisiyle alakalı e, Prince Boateng'in ismi çıktığında karşımıza çıkan ilk videoyu biliyoruz. O videonun hikayesi nasıl? E, onu anlatmasını istiyorum. Bir de mümkünse bizim için mırıldanır mı tabi? <gülüyor> no, no, no. I'm not here to sing. Um, the story is that I love this song. Like I grew up with this song. You know, and it became one of my favorite songs. I always listen to it, even to like now. You know, sometimes I just put it on. Because it was uh, Ibo and uh, Ebru Gündeş. We used to hear that or we used to listen to that music when we were kids. So I was just driving in the car and I just posted that video and then it went, it went viral, you know, everybody was looking at it. And then everybody started, come to Turkey, come to Turkey, you know. No, it was fun. I just liked the song. O zaman kendisinden bir söz alalım. Bir sonraki röportajımızda bir karaoke yapalım. Biraz daha Türkçe'ye alışsın. If we win a cup. I will sing for the whole for the whole stadium. Dövmelerine geleceğim. Müzik sevgisinden bahsetti. Notalar da görüyorum dövmeleri. Dövmelerin anlamı ne? Yeah, yeah. Every tattoo I have on my body has a meaning. It's the story of my life, you know. I just put it on my body. Prince futbola tutkusu nasıl anlatır bize? It's my life. It's it made me the person I am today. It made me learn and understand different cultures. Uh, speak a lot of languages understand other people's mind you know football is more than just 11 against 11 football can change your life can bring you out from a bad situation to a better situation and i always said when i was a kid i want to do all this for my family you know i want to bring them out from this i want to have a good future for my kids and uh, i put my body there every day and you can kick me and you can be negative to me and you can shout at me and the press can write whatever they want but at the end of the day I build the future for my kids and that's the only thing why I go out there and have the passion and love the game you know Aklında bir şarkı var mı o tribünde gol attıktan sonra neyi dinlemek ister neyi duymak ister A song or a sound Song Yeah of course from Ibo bir tanem Bir tanem işte <gülüyor> <gülüyor> Son soru taraftara mesajı I'm happy to be here And uh, I can't wait to get this all started. Don't listen to everything what they say. Just let's have fun and win games. Çok teşekkürler. Thank you very much. Çok güzel. Teşekkürler. <gülüyor> Görüşünüz Saturday.